I guess the, the thing I want to get across is that um, making friends as an adult is hard. It's so hard. It sucks. And I don't know how to do it. Uh, my name is JJ Johnson. I'm 23 and I go to Life Church. Actually, I am not from here. I moved here from Tulsa, Oklahoma back in June of last year. And uh, for a girl, uh, you might know her as the children's pastor. It turns out marriage is about as cool as I thought it was gonna be. But one thing I've learned about marriage pretty quickly, and I believe Kira would agree, they can't fulfill all of your needs. And the biggest thing I have felt lacking in my time since I've moved here is uh, I've just felt lonely a lot of times. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, church has been intimidating and at times still is intimidating. See, I moved here from Oklahoma where I lived my entire life. I went to high school, went to college there. And by the time I left, I gained some really, really, really close friends. But I remember, and I'm not sure what month it was, maybe it was September, when I was invited to uh, join a small group. And I had never done anything like that. So, I wasn't scared, but I just wasn't sure what it would be like. Basically, all I remember from small group the first few months and even now is just that I always felt very comfortable. I never really felt intimidated after that. It was hard to. I mean, there's a French press of coffee and everything smells nice and all the people are just cuddled up in clothes that they wouldn't wear out in public any other day. We're inside a home and there's nothing that beats that. You can, you can meet at a church building or at a coffee shop all day long and nothing beats being inside someone's living room with their mess, with their kids. So the difference between me now in a small group and me now before I joined one is that I have this, I take a great deal of comfort in knowing that there's at least one time in my week where I'm gonna be with people who love me, um, who challenge me um, and who are hilarious and smart. So I think God replaced my loneliness with this revelation of this hole in my heart for even deeper relationships and I'm thankful for that. I'm really thankful.